Hey, what's going on today, guys? It's Trey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a review of Buffalo Trays. So I'm really excited for this one. This is one of my favorite bottles in my collection. It's one of the easiest sippers that I've ever had. This is also such a great introduction to bourbon. So if you're new to bourbon, if you're looking for something that doesn't have a high proof, I think this is a great introduction into bourbon. So it's great in an old fashioned, you can even throw it in a Manhattan, you can throw it in most bourbon related cocktails. It's just such a smooth, smooth drink. Now, even though I love it so much, I actually haven't had Buffalo Trace in over two months. So this will be my first pour in two months. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So I'm really excited for this one. This one is actually the one liter. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm an American living here in Stuttgart, Germany. I picked this one liter bottle up at Filippo's here in Stuttgart. I picked it up for 16 euros, one liter. So dirt, cheap. I don't know what it is. People here in Germany just don't like bourbon that much, but that's great for guys like me because I can get this stuff for super cheap. And Buffalo Trace in the mainland United States right now is going for insane prices. In fact, the 1.75 liter secondary is going for like 150 to 200 dollars which i personally think is absurd i think that this is like a 30 dollar bottle max but hey that's just me if you can get your hands on it for sub 40 dollars i think that this is a good buy and if you see it for under 30 buy a bunch because this stuff unfortunately is starting to become allocated in the mainland united states as well all right let's go ahead and see how the cork sounds hmm nice deep thump Oh yeah. All right, up first, the color. Beautiful, rich amber tone. It's got nice legs on it. I don't know if I mentioned this, this coming out of 90 proof as well, but um, look at that. Very, very beautiful bourbon. All right, let's get into the aroma. So right on the nose, I'm getting like cherry liqueur, getting a little bit of sweet apple juice, applesauce. I'm actually almost getting like mint as well. And of course I'm getting that beautiful oak characteristic. It's not burning my nostrils at all. It's just a really amazing smelling bourbon. All right, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and get into the taste. Prost. Oh my gosh, that is good. Ah, oh, yes. So I'm definitely getting a lot more vanilla than I recall, but the very first thing that I get I actually get like sweet apple juice, getting a little bit of caramel, toffee, all in all. It's just an incredibly easy sipper. Don't expect Buffalo Trace to be like a super complex bourbon. It's definitely not that at all. And that's why a lot of people use it in cocktails. It just really helps to elevate the cocktail overall. All right, second sip. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. Ah. Oh. So interesting, on that one, I actually got a lot more mint. I don't know, maybe it might just be me, but whenever I drink Buffalo Trace, it almost feels like I'm drinking a mild mouthwash. It's got like this minty characteristic that coats the back of my palate. On the tip of the tongue though, I do get a lot of oak. It's a really approachable, solid bourbon. And you know, obviously coming in at a 90 proof, like you're not gonna get too much ethanol burn. Like this, this to me is, I. Buffalo Trace to me, I would consider it to be more of a sweeter bourbon. I know for a lot of bourbon newbies and novices out there, this might have a little bit of heat to it, but for a guy like me that loves bourbons that are over 100 proof, I think that this one just tastes like candy to me. It's really decadent, it's really rich. It's got that apple characteristic on the tip of the tongue, but it's really got that like nice minty finish that makes it stand out from the other sub 40 sub $30 bourbons. This one is just such such an amazing, amazing bourbon. And yeah, just the more I let it breathe, I'm getting that really rich oak presence and uh, it just smells so good. Uh, let's go ahead and go in for taste number three. I, I love this one that much. I'm giving it a third taste. Yeah, that's just sweet. Bourbon candy goodness. Oh man, that is so good. All right, let's go ahead and kill it. Slancha. Oh yeah. 
That is good juice, guys. That's good stuff. All right, Buffalo Trace, let's go ahead and give this guy a grade. So for me, I'm gonna actually give Buffalo Trace a solid nine. I think this is a truly flawless bourbon. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding it in terms of availability in a lot of states and for people charging ridiculous secondary prices for it. Like I said, I only picked, I picked this bottle up for under $20 here in Germany, which I am so thankful for. And I know right now, if I were to go to Filippo's, I could literally buy an entire case of this and like I'd be set for months. And this stuff is just that good that it would probably be all gone. That It would probably all be gone within <laughs> a few months. Like it is, it just goes so well in cocktails. I, you know, it's got amazing flavors. I think it's really approachable. It's got like a sweetness to it in my opinion. And like I said, if you're one of those people that does like a little bit of burn on the finish, it's got this great mint quality on the back of the palette. Um, so yeah, solid nine out of 10 for me. I think it is really, really a good one. So yeah, guys, I mean, Buffalo Trace is obviously an amazing world-class distillery in Kentucky. And, and Buffalo Trace is easily like their most sold bourbon, but they have a number of other great bourbons as well. I will definitely be trying to make it to Kentucky in the future to actually buy a bottle of Buffalo Trace from the distillery directly. Um, I personally love Buffalo Trace. I love everything from the presentation, the flavors, you know, the bottling, I think that everything about Buffalo Trace is really flawless in my opinion. You know, I don't like to tell people how to spend their money, but in my opinion, um, if you find this bottle for under $40, snag it. You know, I don't care if it's a 750 milliliter. If you find a liter and it's $40, just, just buy it. Like, buy it and buy it fast because it won't be there when you come back. So I think it drinks well above its price point, like it's MSRP, I think it drinks way above that. And it just goes so well with so many cocktails. If, if you guys like old fashions, like and you're ever at a bar and you see Buffalo Trace sitting up on the bar, throw some Buffalo Trace in it. Like, it's just, it's that good. So as always, if you guys did appreciate this video, please give it a huge thumbs up as it helps this channel grow and it helps get these videos out to the masses. You know, I'm just a guy that loves bourbon. Like I said, I'm an American that lives here in Germany. For some freaking reason, people here in Europe they just aren't the biggest fans of bourbon. And so, like I said earlier, that's good for guys like me because this stuff is readily available. I could find it in a lot of places. I can't find it on base, unfortunately, which I think it's kind of odd, but I see it around a lot here in Germany. And so it's readily available for the most part. I think that it has a lot of great character and a lot of great quality. And this was actually, I think, the second or the third bourbon that I was introduced to. So. I have quite a love affair with this bourbon. I think it's really, really tasty stuff. So um, yeah, like I said, if you guys did appreciate this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for all the continued love and support. It is Christmas time right now, so Merry Christmas to you all. We're heading to Chicago next week, which I'm really excited for. We're gonna do some bourbon hunting while we're there. I love you guys, thank you so much. And YouTube, thank you. Mahalo for watching. Pew. <laughs>